Ever pondered upon the enigmatic relics whispering tales of antiquity? Can you fathom a 300-year-old Chinese abacus ring, a ghostly geoglyph of a killer whale, or an ancient temple woven from different epochs? Keep watching till the end as we journey through time and unveil the cryptic secrets concealed within the 12 most mysterious recent archaeological finds and artifacts. For in the depths of history lies a clandestine narrative waiting for daring souls to unravel its secrets and decipher its enigmatic script. First on the list, let's talk about this quirky ancient Roman doodad. In the 1760s, folks dug in the ruins of a fancy old Roman house near Pompeii. They stumbled upon something odd, a small metal thing, almost like a mini coffee mug lump. It's one of the world's oldest portable sundials, and guess what? It looks like an Italian ham. Fast forward to today, and this pork clock got a 3D makeover. Imagine a high-tech copy of it made with a snazzy printer. This new model helps brainy folks figure out how this ham-shaped time gadget worked back in the day. Now here's the fun part. Back then, this wasn't just a time gadget. It was like owning a cool toy. A bit like owning those swanky watches today, but in ancient style. Romans back then didn't need to know the time to the last minute, and this ham clock thingy was a bit of a show-off item. But why did they shape it like a prosciutto, which is Italian for fancy ham? Some say it could be linked to an old-school fantastic philosophy that said, live it up today, just like a pig does. Oh, those Romans and their sense of humor. Amidst the silent whispers of Sudan's old Dongola, lying along the Nile's eastern edge, archaeologists have unearthed stories of a bygone time when life thrived in this now deserted town. A colossal secret was unveiled in the embrace of the sands, a cathedral purportedly the largest ever discovered in the Nubian expanse, once an epicenter spanning present-day Egypt and Sudan. The Polish Center of Mediterranean Archaeology at the University of Warsaw delved into the sands, revealing what might be two walls of the cathedral's apse adorned with painted portraits of the Twelve Apostles. Further still, a tomb crowned by a dome emerged, potentially the final resting place of a revered archbishop from Nubia's Christian epoch, spanning the 6th to the 14th century. The former kingdom of Makuria, once a Christian stronghold in the 8th century, held its seat of power at Dongola. Polish archaeologists have meticulously excavated this ancient capital since 1964. While the throne hall symbolizes Makurian legend, this unexpected discovery challenges prior presumptions about the primary place of worship. The Forgotten Annals of Makuria, a kingdom that resisted the tides of Islam for centuries, are slowly being brought to light. Old Dongola was once a nucleus for this fairy tale kingdom, its reach vast, comparable to the combined expanse of Spain and France. Beneath the bustling streets of Rome, an extraordinary discovery was recently made during the construction of the Metro C subway line. A sprawling 2nd century domus, an ancient Roman residence, has been unveiled, marking a historic find in the heart of the capital. This exceptional discovery was announced on March 2, 2018 and is approximately 12 meters beneath Viale Iponio. The 300-square-meter residence is believed to be linked to a 2,000-year-old military barracks, specifically the dormitory of Emperor Hadrian's Praetorian Guards, uncovered in the same vicinity back in 2016. What makes this find particularly captivating is the layout of the domus, boasting at least 14 rooms intricately arranged around a central courtyard housing the remnants of a fountain. The beauty of this ancient abode is further accentuated by intricate black and white mosaics and walls adorned with frescoes. Next, we're headed to a spooky island off the Swedish coast called Bla Jungfrun. Legends say it's a place of magic and not the good kind. Witches supposedly used it as their gathering spot throughout the ages. Quite a tale, right? But here's where it gets interesting. Archaeologists went poking around and found something mind-boggling. They uncovered signs of ancient rituals dating back 9,000 years deep within the island's caves. Imagine that, traditions from way back when. Now these caves were like unique hangout spots. Experts think they were carved into an altar and even a theater stage. It's like the Stone Age equivalent of your local gathering place. These discoveries hint that it wasn't a permanent village, but a spot visited regularly for important Stone Age style gatherings. Now, why the witchy vibe? Some clever folks think that label got slapped on later by Christian missionaries. 
You know, trying to change people's minds about their beliefs. It's like the ancient version of spooky stories around the campfire. There are whispers that oral stories from this island might go back even further. Legends of little hairy humans and all. Some doubted these tales until tiny ancient human bones were found nearby, confirming that there were indeed many people hanging out with our ancestors. In the mystical expanse of Peru's Palpa Desert, the winds of time have whispered an enigmatic secret, a colossal geoglyph revealing a creature from ancient dreams. The orca, a massive whale-like being, lies etched into the fabric of a hillside, a sentinel of a bygone era. Imagine a world over two millennia ago, around 200 BC, where ancient civilizations, the Paracas and the Nazca, united in purpose to inscribe this awe-inspiring figure. The orca, a symbol of power and grace, is portrayed in a stylized dance, accompanied by cryptic signs hinting at its deeper, possibly divine, meaning. The creation of this marvel defies conventional techniques, employing both negative and positive relief. It whispers of a collaborative effort between the Paracas, dwellers of a distant time from 800 to 200 BC, and the emerging Nazca culture around 100 BC. Was it a manifestation of their shared reverence for the mysteries of the deep? In the depths of antiquity, amidst the tapestry of ancient civilizations, a remarkably innovative mind in China crafted the pioneering relic, a smart ring of its era. Venture back to the Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1911, and you'll find this extraordinary artifact, a fusion of ingenuity and adornment. This miniature marvel graces the finger with a mere 1.2 centimeter length and a 0.7 centimeter width. Behold, a tiny abacus, a zusuan, as known in China, nestled within the ring. The abacus, the ancient calculator of its time, boasted seven rods, each adorned with seven beads. A tool for counting and swift calculations condensed to a wearable scale. But the origins of this ring remained shrouded in the mists of time, leaving us to wonder about the mastermind behind this invention. Perhaps a name lost to history, but their ingenuity lives on. Nestled in the Fo Kao Mountains of southern Laos lies the ancient ruins of Wat Phu, a Hindu temple with intriguing remnants of an enigmatic past. Among these ruins rests a boulder bearing a curious carving, a deep impression that vaguely resembles a crocodile or could even accommodate a human body. Speculations swirl around the purpose of this stone. Some believe it may have served as an altar for an annual human sacrifice during pre-Angkor times. The ruins of Wat Phu primarily date between the 11th and 13th centuries, but evidence suggests a temple existed here as early as the 5th century during the reign of the Chenla Empire. According to local oral tradition, during an annual ritual coinciding with the fall of Frangipani petals, the Chenla king would sit on the temple's main causeway, offering rice wine to two selected beautiful girls to pray to the mountain spirits. The girls were then sacrificed to appease the gods for the year ahead. This tradition finds historical corroboration in the 6th century history of the Sui, describing annual human sacrifices in the Chen La culture. While the exact role of the crocodile stone in this ceremony remains unknown, its unique carving heightens the mystery. Strikingly, nothing resembling this stone can be found elsewhere in Laos or Cambodia from that era or subsequent times. Even with crocodiles present in the region, the stone's crocodile depiction does not hold religious significance. Thus, the purpose of the crocodile stone remains an enigma, leaving us to ponder its ancient secret, a compelling mystery echoing through the annals of time. And now, we're diving into the heart of Kerala, to Thiruvananthapuram, home to the magnificent Padman Habaswami Temple. This temple is like a treasure trove, named after Lord Vishnu, the Eternal Lord. The main deity, Padman Habaswami, is seen chilling on a five-hooded serpent, Anatha Shyanam style. Cool, right? Now let's get to the mystery. The temple's called these six vaults, but one of them, Vault B, also known as Kalara B, is like Fort Knox level locked up. In 2011, a retired IPS officer got curious about the temple's treasure and took the case to the Supreme Court. A team was formed to uncover the hidden loot. They found chambers labeled A to F, but opening Vault B was like opening a can of worms. Why? Legends say serpents, spooky vampires, and other supernatural forces guard it. 
Talk about heavy security. People believe that even attempting to crack open this vault invites big trouble. There were even tales of snakes and gangsters meeting their match when they tried to mess with it. Centuries ago, temple big shots tried to open it and heard strange sounds like waves. It was too eerie, so they backed off. In the 1930s, Robert tasted snake trouble when they tried their luck. Legends say ancient saints sealed this vault with a powerful chant, and only a super-knowledgeable priest with the right magic words can try to open it. So what's behind the closed doors of Vault B? Is it a treasure worth a king's ransom, or something more mysterious? We'll never know, yet. In the ancient realm of Mahasthinagar, in Bogra district, Bangladesh, lies the Govinda Bita, a place steeped in the whispers of ages past. This elevated mound, perched beyond the northern rampart, guards the secret of a temple lost in time. In the annals of excavation, the mound unveiled its enigma to scholars like Kin Dikshit in 1928 and 29, and Nazimuddin Ahmed in 1960. Their endeavors reveal the complex tapestry of history woven into the very earth. The sands of time parted to expose two temple remnants, distinct in eras and enclosed within formidable walls. To the west, a grand edifice, possibly from the 6th century, stood with a solid central shaft and graded terraces. Meanwhile, to the east, a smaller temple, born in the 11th century, shared the stage, partly built upon the ruins of its ancient sibling. As the digging deepened, layers of history unfurled. The fragments of the late Pala and Gupta periods, remnants of grandeur bore witness to the river's annual embrace and the cyclical rebuilding of ancient hands. Coins, terracotta plaques, and artifacts from diverse epochs lay nestled within the earth, revealing a rich tapestry of the past. Nestled in the heart of Belize, the Cuello Mayan ruins stand as a timeless enigma. Discovered by the intrepid archaeologist Norman Hammond in 1975, these ruins stirred a storm in academic circles. Radiocarbon whispers hinted at an age surpassing known Mayan sites, reaching back to 2600 BC or perhaps 1200 BC, sparking debates. The dwellers of Cuello were sedentary maize farmers. Their homes were thatched with plastered bases. Aside from maize, sustenance was drawn from white tailed deer, turtles, and loyal dogs. Burials at Cuello paint mystifying tales. An adolescent girl, decapitated, laid to rest with her head gently on her chest beside ceramic bowls. Another tomb, a potential ruler, adorned with deer bone artifacts and a macabre plaque crafted from a human skull. Signs of warfare scar the site. Mass graves of men with severe trauma, burnt structures, and desecrated stone buildings. A blank stella dated to 100 remains a testimony to the ruler's might. A Mayan sweat bath hints at ancient traditions. Though excavations have lulled, the ruins beckon the curious. A nine-stepped pyramid and hidden ceremonial complex whisper tales of a bygone era. Seekers can approach the Cuello rum distillery, and with luck, the Cuello family might grant passage to this ancient enigma, a world veiled in the mists of time. All right, folks, gather around for a tale of treasures lost and found. Picture this, a ship, the SS Central America, laden with gold from the California Gold Rush, sank 7,200 feet deep into the Atlantic during a ferocious hurricane on September the 12th, 1857. Fast forward to modern times. Between the late 1980s and 2014, this shipwreck dubbed the Ship of Gold started revealing its secrets. Almost 1,000 Gold Rush-era treasures were plucked from the depths. Among the goodies are a mysterious daguerreotype of a woman and a pair of jeans that the legendary Levi Strauss himself could have crafted. There's also an intriguing lid to the oldest known Wells Fargo treasure shipment box, jewelry from Gold Rush Gold, brass luggage tags, eyeglasses in solid gold frames, and even a key to the ship's wine storage room. But hold on, there's drama too. Tommy Thompson, the deep-sea explorer who found the wreck, faced scandal and ended up in federal prison for refusing to spill the beans about the 500 gold coins. The ship's treasure has fetched millions at auctions, with one ingot selling for $2.16 million. In the heart of Saudi Arabia's desert lies a hidden marvel, giant stone carvings of camels etched into the cliffs. Surprisingly, these ancient carvings remained undiscovered until 2016 in the Al-Jaf province. 
the shifting sands veiling and protecting them from erosion may have contributed to their preservation. Carved into sandstone around 2,000 years ago, the intricately detailed camels, horses, and donkeys are a testament to ancient craftsmanship. Strikingly, there is no trace of any settlement nearby, leaving archaeologists puzzled. These enigmatic carvings, seemingly born in nowhere, hold clues to the artisan's identity or the tools they wielded. The mystery deepens, beckoning the curious to contemplate the elusive artist who once left their mark on these desolate cliffs, revealing their mastery in the most unexpected canvases. If you've been captivated by the enigmas of our past, don't hesitate to show your support. Please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Share this mysterious journey with fellow seekers of ancient secrets, and remember to ring that notification bell to stay tuned for more enigmatic adventures. Until next time, keep exploring the shadows of history.